Okay, here we are in the bar. So we open up Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with curbside takeout. So I came in today, so I have to work my other job on Thursday, and I sanitized the bar. Last thing I'm gonna do is this surface right here. So couldn't go to the park today, so we're gonna do a bar workout. Now, I've already taken a whole bunch of my dirty clothes, put them in a, a rucksack, tie them up to the pillar, Already did about ah, 50 punches with each hand on that one. Now we're going to do the chopping block. For those of y'all that saw my other chopping block, uh, the other exercise video, repetition and different height sizes. So do one at this height, do one at a bar stool height. The same thing with the side knife edge. You want to do them at different angles, okay? So we're going to do back of the hand for 10, uh, uh, back of the hand for 10, and you want to do each hand, and also you want to stagger your feet. So in other words, one's going to be right foot forward as you're doing it, and the other one's going to be left foot forward, but with the same hand, and then you would reverse it, okay? So left foot, for, lead, lead hand forward leg forward and then lead lead hand with lead leg back okay so remember the, the back of the hand slap isn't a knockout blow it's to bring your opponent's arm down so you can go in so or to chop a knife out of the hand so you do 10 lead foot rear foot Lead foot, rear foot. So that would be a, you know, bringing a guy's arm down to go towards the center line. You're always wanting to trying to seal the center line. The center line is where all the good stuff is. Eyes, nose, mouth, throat, solar plexus. Uh, eyes, you know, you, you, you go, you bring down, you chop forward. That's how you knock people out. You hit them in two different directions. That's where the good knockouts come from. So, the other thing, we're going to go back to the palm strike. Same thing, you're going to have your, your foot forward. Let's, let's look at the feet. So, so, on some of the strikes, you're going to have your lead foot forward, and some you're going to have it back. So, you want to get a mixture to make sure the chain's right. Same thing with the other hand. Same thing with a knife edge. Obviously you get more torque with your lead leg, okay? Because your all your power comes from your, your waist, just like you're throwing a, uh, just like you're uh, putting, uh, or you're playing your swing golf, it's, it's your hip. The same thing, when you get your whole body mass behind something, that's when the good stuff happens. So you're gonna do, uh, 10 times three knife edges, okay? Also 10 times three knife edges down, okay? So that has a practical application. If you get a guy bent over from an uppercut, get chopped to the back of the neck and it's usually over. And then you wanna do on the opposite hand too. And uh, let's go over some things you can do. So, You can throw some cables over the bar here and you can practice your rear naked choke. So this is the preferred opponent's head. So you would pull, obviously when you're doing a rear naked choke, you want to get the seal across here the main way he's gonna get leverage is pulling out on your hand over here. So you want these things, try to get the angle good here. You wanna get these angles, you know, as you're doing, as you're doing the rear naked choke, you wanna get your angles on, onto here, okay? Same thing with the other hand, you'd like to do 
this is this is your blade hand right here. This is where you want to seal the throat. So you would pull. You want you want the pressure from the the, the pulling uh, whatever you're using for resistance bands. You want them pulling right there because that's where the guy's going to grab. He's going to grab here, trying to pull away. So you you, you contract against that. Uh, you do the same thing uh, with the guillotine lock, but instead of on. Instead of on the over the bar, you would just step on these. So this would pull down, and the, the guillotine, the guillotine is just straight up. So it would be up and pull for all your worth, and then do a static hold. Up, up. It's actually about the most perfect way you could do this outside of having to practice them you're a human because uh, the head's not gonna hit, there's not gonna be that much back pressure here it's all gonna be the guy pulling up his body from underneath from the throat down so pulling up and then do both sides uh, let's do so you got the guy up do some static holds do some reps just going up about 10 and then do a 10 second hold at the end and that would be about what you would do to finish somebody if you get somebody in a rear naked choke or a guillotine choke they usually got about four seconds and if you establish dominance right off the bat they go down fast anyway practice the chops open hand knife edge back of the hand uh, any kind of different height you can do it so Choose three heights. Uh, you can get if you can put the knife knife edge over something here where you can hit it at the top. That's even better. Hitting somebody here. So anyway, that's the bar workout one. Hope to see you this Saturday. I'm out.